This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. Double Dutch is a lot of fun to do. In this episode, we've got Mike Fry with us, and he's going to be teaching some different turning skills that you can use. Uh, the JV, he's teaching some pop ups, which are double unders inside of Double Dutch. And then for varsity, he'll be teaching some quick switches, which is a real fun thing to work on um, just between different turners and different jumpers to make it, you know, a good interaction between you. So I hope you enjoy, start using them, and you should be able to get real good at these tricks real quick. The JV skill. Our JV skill for today are double unders or pop ups inside the double dutch rope. So what we have is me and Nick turning the double dutch ropes. We're just going to start turning. Um, we're going to start turning uh, the double unders and then just sort of explain what's going on as they're happening. So we'll have a signal that we've established. It's going to be ready, set, go. We call ready, set, go, and we start turning. So these right now are double unders or pop ups. What you're going to notice is that one rope is hitting just slightly before the other one. So my right hand and Nick's left hand is hitting just before our other hand. Um, they're not hitting at the same time because if they did, then it would cause a mistake. The other thing that you'll notice is that my left hand and Nick's right hand is held, are held just a little bit above the other hand. Um, and what would happen if you turned the ropes at the same time and held the ropes at the same level is this. We'll go back to regular turning, call a signal, ready, set, go. And they immediately hit and it will cause a mistake. So. One thing you do need to make sure is that one hand is held a little bit above the other one and that the ropes are hitting, uh, or one rope is hitting just before the other rope. So I'll show you again. You go ready, set, go. And you'll notice the ropes are sort of making a ba-bum, ba-bum sound as they're turning. Um, and they're not hitting at the exact same time because, again, that would cause a mistake. So what you do, uh, if you want to add a jumper now, Peter will come in. Again, we have a signal established. We'll call ready, set, go. He's jumping nice and high to make sure that the ropes can just move nice and slow underneath his feet. And for each jump he does, the, each rope passes under his feet one time for a total of two ropes going under his feet for each jump. And to get back out, we say, ready, set, stop. We just turn regular, then he can exit the ropes. And those are double unders or pop-ups inside double dutch ropes. The varsity skill. For our varsity skill today, we're going to show you what's called quick switches. Me and Peter are going to do four quick switches in a row. Um, we've probably learned at this point the basic switch, which is just a uh, handle exchange. I'll be in the ropes, jump out, and take the ropes from Peter. Now at this point, he could just get in, but for our trick today, which is the quick switches, he's going to stay facing me, take the ropes from me, and get out. I'm going to jump in, immediately turn to face him, grab the ropes from him one more time. He'll jump in and grab the ropes from me and I jump in for, to make four switches. We call that quick switches. Uh, we'll show you what that looks like. It's very important during this trick to, uh, for the most part, just keep the ropes moving slow. Nick has one of the hardest jobs because he has to make sure that uh, while we're switching that the ropes are still moving and getting over uh, the jumpers' heads when they get in, into the rope. So we go, ready, set, go. Another thing that's very important to do as you're going from the jumping position to the turning position, is making sure that as soon as you grab one rope and then the other rope, that, you, that you're immediately starting to turn big. Um, it's going so fast, so it can be hard to remember that, but you just need to make sure that you're turning big because the person who was turning that you're now uh, grabbing the ropes from is becoming a jumper, and they'll need uh, the ropes to be high enough and to be turned well enough for them to be able to jump the ropes. So that's called quick switches. We'll show you one more time. Ready, set, go. And those are quick switches inside double dutch ropes. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.